Uh, good morning. So now to cut that style, um, the yellow and the stripe, they are the same method. The difference there is um, the yellow one has color, while the other one has uh, kind of a cape, the stripe one. So first of all, this is your fabric. You mark out a baseline here. Mark out a baseline. Mark this baseline to the very end, this way, your top length. Then, of course, you add four inches here for your top length. You mark four inches here for your top length. Your normal method, right? Four inches here. Then extend the line in this form. Extend the line in this form. Then, after this, you put your top length. So, the top length I have is a length of, uh, let's say, 37, 36. However, it's always a long top. 37 top lengths. You mark 37 inches here for your top length. 37 inches here as well for your top length. So, you have got to your top length. Then, extend the line as well in this form. Then, after which, now, you are going to consider your folding right now you have two options here it is either you use lining to do turn up for the inner wear or you consider the folding so however you want to do it if you're doing lining turn up there's no need to put extra inch here for folding but if you are doing material um material folding you have to put extra inch here so let's so let's go by um folding the folding of the edge right so you can consider the edge folding Maybe one inch, one and a half. Then you will mark extra um, ten inches here, right? Then seven is for the overlap effect, while um, the rest three is for the folding. So you mark ten inches here. So you mark ten inches here. Ten inches. So you have your ten inches marked out this way. You mark it out all through. To the down then from this 10 inches it's where you start putting your chest and whatever measurement you have so let's assume that your chest is 40 arm hold is 10 that's for short sleeve or for long sleeve you minus one it becomes nine so you mark nine for arm hole then extend the nine inches mark here for your arm hole line this way then after which you mark your 40 from here that's 10 right from that mark you mark your 40 here extra two inches as well they mark your shoulder from here as well so shoulder we have is shoulder of let's say 17 8.5 plus half nine you mark it at once this way then connect the lines in this form this way and then come down here by two inches or two and a half let's use two and a half then the normal senator marking this way then do your neckline your natural neckline is 2.5 inches width by three for a natural neckline so i have by three so now when you mark your natural neckline two and a half inches by um three inches here of course you connect in this form right Connect in this form this way and then do your armhole trimming armhole let's say um the middle of this is 3.25 coming by one and a half then use the arm hook off and connect as shown make sure you do the same thing you are seeing here connect as shown this way then after that already you have marked your chest and everything so you go down straight this way you go down straight this way then of course you calculate your slit opening seven inches from the four inches high then come out by one or one and a half then connect as well in this form now at this point if you notice your 10 inches you gave here is equivalent to the chest measurement over four right that means whatever you're going to add in front must be in line with your customer's chest over four so if the chest is 44 by 4 is 11 that means you put 11 here if it's 48 by 4 is 12 that means you put 12 here if, whatever you have at chest over 4 put it in front first before you start marking your normal bodies now um to mark to do the 
overlapping effects. You know, this is a natural neckline. You know, for the stripe, the stripe own has a cape at the neck. So that cape is one and a half inch or one at one inch, depending on how you want to do it. So if you are doing one and a half, you are going to mark one inch here, right? And then mark this way again. Now, because the reason because by the time you sew your cape of one and a half, this neckline has increased to 1.5. So if you want to have a cape of 1.5, mark one inch here on the neck width again. If you want to have a neck a cape of two inches, mark 1.5 here. Leave half inch for the joining allowance for, from the body of the neck. So since we want to have a cape of 1.5. I am marking one inch here. By the time I prepare my cape and sew it, that sewing will now come, come in by one, half inch. It will not augment the neckline. So the cape, uh, the stripe on, will lap on the natural neckline, which is the real neck of the customer measurement, right? Then the depth of the cape is always, um, slit opening is always um, seven inches this way. So from that seven inches, you are going to connect in a curvy form you know connect this way in a curvy form this way in a curvy form now in a curvy form it goes all through down this way so this will serve you for your overlapping effect so i will cut this and then show you how to place it before you proceed but also bear in mind that for you to cut the back, you're just going to start cutting from this center for the back panel, right? So let me cut this out and show you the, uh, what's it called? The looks or how it looks like. So I will cut this out from here. Let me just cut straight from here. This way. And then from here, you can decide to make here to be a bit higher. So that it doesn't go down however you can just make it to come up like two inches high maybe somewhere like here because you're going to fold um use cape to turn it so they just cut from here you know also make it to come a bit high this way so this is the front panel so this is your front panel this is how it looks like you can decide to cut this and cut the back panel before you start cutting out all of this so also note where i am cutting i'm trying to draw it okay. so this is how you are going to Cut this right. All right. So now, if you notice, this is how um, the thing has come out. Then just notch this point, notch this point for you to know the middle where it will lap. Notch here, notch here, and also notch the down right, or also notch the down. Let me cut it off now. And also not here. So, for you to cut the back, please, I said for the back cutting, eh? So that you won't be confused. The easiest way to cut the back is to make sure that um, when you have finished drafting the front panel, this is how it come out this is how it come out this way right okay, yeah this is how it come out this way all right now to cut the back of this clothes the back panel i think this is where some of us might have issue to cut the back so if you know that cutting the back will give you a problem don't cut this out yet just cut in a block form this way then fold this one in like this place the back panel and record the back raise the back panel by normal raising two or three inches by two and a half cut the back then 
Once the back is cut, before you can now open up here and then cut out this, lastly, because in cutting the back, you need to have the front panel being complete this way for you to be able to cut the back, right? So once you're able to cut the back, then the front will not be a problem again to draft. Then you just open it up this way and then this is the lapping effect you will have. The two notches will now be placed together. Watch. The two notches will now be placed together this way. As you can see, this is how it came out. This is how it is. Now, if you look at the picture, the, you, you now put your cape. Now, one of the cape we just end somewhere here. Why the other one will go all through to this point? Remember that one and a half inch is what I calculated for my cape, right? So if you if you now want to um, stitch this to the ass feet, you can just fold here this way. After you, after you must have fixed your cape or put the rope at this edge to just add beauty to the clothes. So this is how you can cut the overlapping symmetrical aspect that has a cape or a color. A, or a color. So I hope you understood the video and then um, this is how you can do that. Thank you for watching. Now for the stripe on right? the stripe, I observed that the stripe has a point here where the rope is to be tied. So what you can do for the stripe is to lower here a bit, lower one panel a bit, lower one panel a bit, this stripe, lower the one panel a bit. So once you lower it, you know, the, the material does not really go straight. It's went a bit curvy here. So you can decide to keep like three inches here. And then from that three inches you max, from that three or four inches you max, you can now slant it out to the middle. I think the stripe has this kind of shape. So if you want to do the stripe, what you do is just what I have just shown you now. You just make sure you lower here a bit, the one panel a bit, then three inches down. From here, you slant it out to the middle. So if you have this shape, if you have this shape, right? I think that's the shape that the stripe has. If you have this shape, right? So that you now put the rope here. We tie it. So this is the shape of the stripe. But for the other yellow one, it will be straight this way. It will be straight this way while we use um, the material or the lining to turn up this edge and put the ropes at the sides. And then you now put your collar and put your cape for the individual size. Then for that yellow one, if you are putting that collar, you're, you don't need to go in again by one inch which we did on the neck you don't need to go in again by one inch this one inch here where it's not needed for that yellow one you're only going to cut from lip this one the front neck this way and then put your cape all right so i hope this video also helps to throw more light on how to cut the style thank you for watching